Hi, I'm Dr. V. I'm Chief of the Spine Pain Program at Bloor Pain Specialists, and today I'm going to be talking about MRI. That's an excellent question, and we see these words all the time. In fact, patients see these words all the time nowadays, and they get concerned. But really, this is such a vague and general term. Degeneration is and the act of aging. It means the, the discs have aged in some way, or they have changed from their normal structure in some way. But lots of tissues change over time, and we don't get concerned, always. Sometimes it is concerning, sometimes it's not. With our skin, we get wrinkles. And although we don't like it, that doesn't mean we are symptomatic in terms of our skin. With our hair, the color changes. We get grays, we get whites later on, or we lose our hair entirely. And that doesn't mean that there's something wrong with the top of our heads. We don't necessarily get alarmed about it. Well, with the degenerative disc disease, sometimes it is a structural abnormality that should be addressed urgently or soon or relatively quickly. But oftentimes, it is a relatively benign condition. And in fact, there is ample data to support that going off of MRI findings alone, we really don't need to be that concerned. Well, when I tell that to a patient who's symptomatic, they look at me like I'm lying to them until I explain why. And that's what I'm going to do now. We have to think about what is a disc. A disc is a pillow between two bones, separating our vertebrae to cushion it. And initially, this are bouncy, they're soft, they're protecting those bones with each step of our life cushioning. But over time, they can harden, they can stiffen, they can flatten. Sometimes they can have bulges, sometimes they can have calcifications, thickening, tightening, tightening some of the spaces where the nerves pass through or along those discs. And in some of those cases, that they're going to become symptomatic. That is true. But when we compare data, when we compare MRIs of patients with low back pain and track them over time and compare data for patients with low back pain, with uh, degenerative disc disease and no back pain, there doesn't seem to be a difference. So the disc on its own does not really play a big role. In fact, there was one very well designed paper that came out in August of 2021. About three and a half thousand patients were tracked for six years. They had initial MRIs, their back pain was assessed, they were treated, they lived their lives, and they had MRIs at follow-up. Their back pain was assessed at follow-up. Their pain scores were assessed at follow-up and at baseline. And the pain scores at baseline did differ for those with a lot of MRI findings, meaning that at least five things that were notable on their MRI comparing them to people who had more or less normal MRIs, less than five things. So if you had five things that were uh, identified on your MRI to say that, you know what, degenerative disc disease at different levels, maybe some facet uh, arthritis, or maybe a little misalignment here or there, if you count those to be five different problems, there was a 0 0.8 difference in a score of 0 to 10 in terms of pain scores. So the group that had five or more had just had slightly more pain at baseline. Six years later, they trended towards actually less pain than they had at baseline. And so what's interesting there is that, you know, the, the MRI findings really don't correlate with the clinical findings. And why is that? Because our efforts as human beings uh, will play a bigger role in our recovery. Our desire to move, our, our engagement in physiotherapy, our, our, our engagement in chiropractics, osteopathy, acupuncture, medical management, interventions, surgery in some cases, and doing things ourselves, being empowered to manage our own symptoms at home and outdoors, and really engaging in our own recovery has been shown to be the better way to improve our outcomes. Engaging in our own recovery does not mean we have an MRI at home. It doesn't mean we get therapeutic MRIs. There's no such thing as a therapeutic MRI. It doesn't mean that we have to be scanned at home to be better. And that picture 
with emphasis is just a picture. Now, does that mean it's useless? Absolutely not. It identifies what you look like inside. We use it as a diagnostic tool to help us, help you, so that we can give you the diagnostic information so that you can take the next steps and we can assist you with the next steps to your recovery. But it is a starting point. Thanks for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe below. If you have any questions that you'd like us to address in a future video, please leave them in the comments area. If you want us to answer any questions about your care specifically, please contact the clinic directly.